Hi all, in this video, let's see what is this local overrides and how we can use it in terms of troubleshooting uh, and in terms of uh, if you edit something in the web page, okay, like CHS and HTML, and if you reload the page, what happens, all the changes would be gone. With the help of this local overrides, if whatever you changes, the uh, CSS and HTML live CSS changes, you can persist those things. Okay, there are multiple use cases for using this local overrides. One of the best use cases is mocking the response data. With the mocking the response data, you no need to wait for the backend people to modify some flags. Okay, you can modify yourself that response, mock uh, response, and you can continue your testing. So you can also add your response and uh, you can uh, remove the response. Whatever the tester data you want, you can do that with the help of this local override, which will really help us in, in terms of troubleshooting multiple things. Okay, let's see how it works. Firstly, okay, uh, this is a sample coffee cart application. So let me refresh this page. I'm going here. I will refresh this page first. So then you can see, uh, yeah, we can see a JSON was loaded, list.json file. I'm clicking this, okay? This is a response we got, okay, from the backend. So now I wanted to uh, double this uh, espresso like uh, coffee price and the name, wanted to change the name and wanted to, uh, modify the recipe as well. So this is what my requirement, okay? For some of the test case, how I can do, uh, instead of waiting for the backend, uh, we can mock this with the help of this local overrides. So how we can do that, let me explain. So not for the, just for the JSON, you can also do for the JS files, CSS and uh, HTML files also. You can do this whole local override. So let's see that first with the JSON file. Right click on this file and select override content. Once I select override content, here you can see it is asking to select a folder. The reason behind this is like we are editing this file. This file should be placed in one folder, right? So that's the reason it is asking to select that folder. So I'm clicking this. I will go to the desktop and I will create a new folder. You can name it whatever you want. I'm naming it as a local override and I will create this folder and I will put this file in this folder. So once you put this file in this folder, the top, the dev tools will ask us the access, full access to this file. So just click allow, okay? Now you can see a purple icon on this uh, file. So with this indicates that this file is loading from the local, okay? What happens is like next time, so I'm doing some changes here. So I'm adding, I'm modifying the title, I'm modifying the price. I will add some uh, recipe changes. So let me add recipe changes. Uh, I will put some steamed milk like that or a milk 90% like that something. I have modified the title, price and this. So now I need to save these changes. So here you need to save these changes. And once I reload this page, what happens now? This file will be load from the local. It will not load from the server. Okay, that is what the local override means. See, that's the reason on the network, it will be shown an warning symbol. It indicates that something is like overridden, okay? So this purple icon also you can uh, see for that, this file was lo loading from the local, okay? So now see at the top, uh, you can see earlier it was white color. So now it was like milk form of 90%. Uh, this was modified title and the price, everything was modified. You can mock the response data in this way, okay? Uh, and also let me show you the same for the CSS file as well. As we discussed, this can be done for the JS, HTML, and CSS as well. So in general, what we do, like we'll go to the elements page, we do some uh, CSS changes here. Uh, it will be there until we do here and we check there. But once we refresh it, the changes would be lost. So instead of that, like uh, we can have this local overrides for that purpose as well. So let me show you that. So I'm taking this file like uh, index this the CSS file. I'm clicking this right click or write content and it will go to this, the same folder here. So here I wanted to change this center to the left align. Okay, so see the menu. This menu is at the center earlier. So I'm modifying that here and border bottom instead of black, I will select this as yellow. So see, it became yellow. So whatever I do the, these changes and I need to save this file. Now, if I refresh this page, all these changes would be persist. See, the menu is at the left and the border is at still at the L, L, L. Okay, This is 
uh, about the local overrides with respect to the CSS. The same you can do for the JS and the HTML. So you few things you need to keep in mind is once you're done with this, okay, just uncheck this. If not, all the time these files would be loaded from your local override, local folder itself, okay? So you need to make sure you need to uncheck this file once you're done with your testing, okay? And uh, if you feel like, okay, I'm done with all these things, look, so you can clear this configuration also. Everything would be gone, like if you clear the configuration, okay? And uh, few people may see uh, these overrides we can see in the sources. Uh, and uh, if the menu is like uh, very small like this, okay? You need to click this so that you can find this overrides option. As I have used it, it is came in into the recent one. Uh, if it is not visible for you, you need to check in this way, okay? And uh, that is the one thing. And uh, uh, let me explain you one more important point. Uh, if you go to the elements tab, there is one limitation here. So whatever you change to the DOM or elements, uh, we can't um, do that as a local override. We can't do that, okay? That is a limitation for this local override. And not just, uh, what we discussed is only for the override content, right? So you can also override the headers as well, response headers. So let me show you that. I'm clicking this file and I'm click right click, override headers, okay? I can also override the headers. Let me click that. Once I click the override headers, so you can add, see, override headers means you can add or uh, modify the response headers. So here in the response headers, you can modify or you can add these headers. So I wanted to add one uh, header. I can say this as access uh, control uh, allow origin. So usually like cross origin issues will be getting right. So for that, we'll be adding this and you can put this as a true or star or any of the uh, character here, like a meta character here. So now you can modify the response headers as well. Like uh, now I'm making this as a uh, cross origin, like I'm trying to access the resources from the cross origin domain as well. So that also you can do with the help of this override headers, fine. So here you can see this purple icon. If you see this purple icon, you need to feel like something was overridden. So that's what the indication. So we have seen the file override. We have seen the CSS override. We have also seen the headers override. So let me explain you a simple point here. So in, if in the elements tab, if you come and click uh, escape, I came to the elements tab and I click escape. So now here, there will be one tab next to the consoles that is changes. So here you can see whatever was changed. So what is the original value? What you have modified and in the uh, list.json also, what is the original value? What you modified. So what are the changes we did with respect to the local override that you can see here. So that is a uh, good part here. And uh, the next thing is like, if you wanted to understand what all the files uh, or uh, what all the local overrides are there, so you can right click here, you'll be having an option here, show all overrides. If you click this, it will go here. So here you can see what, what all the list of override, what all the files you have overridden, okay? These are some of the features. So now once I'm done with all the testing, what I, I need to do, I need to uncheck this or I am I am clearing the configuration directly, okay? See, everything is gone. Now, if I refresh, all these changes will be coming from the server, not from my, my local override. Okay, this is all about like local overrides, Chrome local overrides, uh, which will help us a lot in terms of uh, troubleshooting. Uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more videos. Thank you.